Today we are going to cover decimal places and buy one get one free significant figures. Significant figures. They're almost the same but with a slight difference. If we had the number 35.642 uh, and we wanted that to two decimal places and the way they'd write that is 2DP. Decimal places comes from the decimal point, which is that dot there. The place is the numbers to the right of that. This number, for example, has three decimal places because it has three numbers to the right. But they don't want three decimal places. They're kind of stingy. They want two decimal places. What you do is you're going to have to cut off that extra number. But you have to be careful. What you need to do is that extra number to the right of the line that we've cut off, is it between 0 and 4, including 0 and 4, or is it be between 5 and 9? If it's between 0 and 4, what you need to do is you can keep all the numbers to the left exactly the same. So keep them the same. The numbers to the right can disappear. If, however, the number, the one number just to the right of that line is between 5 and 9, what you do is the number to the left, in this case that 4, you see it, that would go up by 1. Up by 1. Let's quickly try that. Here, the number to the right of the line is a 2. So is that number to the left, the 4, is it going to go up or is it going to stay the same? It's going to stay the same. So our number to two decimal places is now 35.64. Let's quickly try that again with a bigger number. How about 463.9673? Four. Now we want that to one decimal place, one decimal place, one dp. Okay, one place after that dot, that is very stingy. So we're going to draw the line here. We're going to look to the number to the right, which is the 7. Now that is between 5 and 9. So the number to the left is going to have to go up by 1. Oh dear, it's a 9. How do we make that go up by 1? Well, it's 10. So what that actually means is that it becomes a 0 with... In, in other words, that 39 almost becomes a 40, if you think of it going up by 1. See, the 39 here would become like a 40. This 9 has become a 0. It's like the, the 0 part of 10. And this number here, even further to the left, has gone up by 1. In other words, if we rounded this to one decimal place, we get 464.0. You've got to watch out when it's a 9 and you're rounding up. You don't just change the 9 into, the, into a 0, like a 10. You've got to move the number to the left of the 9 up by 1 as well. So this number to one decimal place would be 464.0 or because of that 7 to the right. Now, significant figures are almost exactly the same, except you start at the beginning of the number. Let's try that for these two uh, numbers. If we were asking now, let's draw an, an arrow. That looks, that'll be fun. See if I can do that on here. Um, all the way from this number down here, made it but now the question is they want that number to two significant figures which they'd write as 2SF or sometimes significant figures but usually S dot F okay all we need to do is start counting from the beginning of the number in this case we count from the start and then we draw the line one, two, now the line goes here. 
the number to the right is a 6, which is between 5 and 9. So the number to the left, that 5, is going to go up by 1. Perfect. So we'd have 36, and all the num other numbers become 0. 0. 0. 0. Now that is exactly the same as 36. So you could just write 36. What would happen if something a little bit crazy? What about 0 0.0062 to one significant figure? Now, you might have to hold your horses on this one because what I was about to do, I was about to start from the front here and then go 1. But when you have zeros at the beginning of a number, like 0, 0.00, mathematicians don't actually think they're that significant. So you don't start from here. You'd actually start from the first number that's not a 0. If there was another number here, for example, let's sneakily add in a 2 at the front. OK, that's a bit scrunched up. But if we had a 2 here, then you can definitely start at the front and go 1 across. But, see if I can delete that. You did, uh, nope, not working. Yes, done that. Now, because it's only zeros at the beginning, we actually have to start the first significant number. You know, I hope zero is not too offended, but it's not that significant compared to a 6. And then count 1 after the 6. So here is our line now. You kind of follow that a little bit. So we don't count from the zeros when they're at the beginning of the number. If they're in the middle of a number, like, let's do it up here, 1,008, they definitely count. If they're at the, the end of a number, like uh, 5,000, they definitely count. But when they're at the beginning like that, with endless zeros, you actually count from the first significant number, the 6. The number to the right is a 2. So that 6 is going to keep exactly the same as it was before. So our answer would be 0 0.006. And that's it.